everyone, this is Sakura Diesel here. Welcome to another one-shot LP and everything, so, yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do a Paper Mario stream and everything, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I figured, you know what, let's do another one-shot game and everything, just so, like, you know... Uh, just, uh, just to give you guys something in between while we're still, you know, waiting to see when we're gonna do the next, you know, Paper Mario stream. Again, Paper Mario's not dead, we just had to take a break and everything. Uh, I was gonna do a different game of mine, uh, as sort of like a, uh, backup side LP and everything, but I decided, you know what, I think another one-shot LP should be able to do the trick, cause, you know, so far we, uh, uh, cause basically so far, like, you know, uh, we've been able to get the, uh, Paper Mario streams out in... Relatively decent time, I would say, and everything. Like, you know, so far, like, you know, we haven't had to worry about, like, you know, doing any side let's plays or, like, you know, worrying about taking a very, very long break from the game on, like, you know, the last Paper Mario session and everything. So I figure one more, you know, one shot OP will do and everything. And just in case if we do have to take another, you know, Paper Mario break and everything, I actually do have a, uh, uh, I still actually do have a game in mind I could do as, like, a short LP just in case if we need to and everything. Uh, but yeah, as you can see from the uh, title of the screen, we are doing a uh, duck hunt for the NES and everything. And yeah, just basically, uh, duck hunt is a uh, duck hunt is one of those games where it's like you know, even if you never played it, you probably most likely have heard of it because like this was the game that did came in packages with like you know the NES right from the very beginning too. Like you know, uh, first it came out as like you know a standalone card and everything with like the NES zapper and such. And then, of course, we all know the uh, famous, you know, Super Mario Duck Cut bundle that it got whenever you got, like, you know, an NES game and everything. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, alright, so basically, uh, unlike the other, um, uh, unlike the other games we have done as, like, uh, one-shot LPs and everything, there's actually two different, well, technically three different modes, but I say more two because, like, you know, uh, game A and game B are just basically, you know, the same type of modes, just like, you know, you have one where you can shoot one Dugs, and there's another one where you can shoot... Uh, two ducks and everything and uh, base and uh, basically you know I'm gonna do the uh, two duck variation for this one uh, but the game C this game actually is you know a little bit more very different and such uh, still the same premise in mind except you know you have a different target that you need to shoot and everything so I'm gonna be showing both of them off and everything and I think you guys will actually like it and such so all right hold on let me see there we go Alrighty, so, alright, so just basically as always, uh, I'm going to be playing each mode for about 10 minutes, see how far I can get and everything, and then after those uh, 10 minutes are up and everything, that's when we're going to stop playing the game, so let's stop, uh, let's stop the jibber jabbing and go straight to the games, so here we go. Uh, we're, doing, uh, we're doing two tough modes, so, alright, we'll start right now. So yeah, this is basically a uh, duck hunt. The uh, premise of a uh, duck hunt is very simple. You just shoot ducks. Uh, if you were playing this on an actual NES and everything, you will have to use the uh, NES zapper in order to uh, shoot the ducks. Uh, however, and I just missed one as you can see. Um, so yeah, the two duck one is a little bit more harder because uh, you only have uh, three bullets to shoot and everything. So basically, if you miss one time, you only get one more chance to shoot, you know. Two ducks before basically, you know, uh, uh, before, uh, before basically, you know, uh, one of the ducks will have to fly away if you manage to miss twice. So the game is very simple. The game is, you know, fairly easy. Um, I, uh, I also did forget to mention, uh, if you're playing on an emulator like I am, uh, you'll basically just have to uh, aim and shoot with your uh, mouse, which is what I'm doing right now. So I just missed that other one again. So the ducks do get faster as the uh, game goes on and everything, so I don't think, uh, I'm gonna see if I try to at least make it to round 5 uh, with this game and such. So your goal is not just to shoot ducks, you have to at least try to shoot um, a certain amount of ducks and everything, and yeah, for any ducks that you don't get and everything, I just barely got that one too. Uh, for any ducks you somehow don't manage to shoot and such, that dog will just come up and laugh at you, which we all know, like, you know, uh, famous classic little, you know, uh, it, uh, again, it's a famous classic little meme and everything that's been stable with, like, you know, Nintendo and everything. It's been stable with this game, honestly, and such. So, like I said, your goal is not just to shoot ducks. You have to shoot a certain amount of ducks. And this was something I didn't notice until, like, you know, probably years later after I was playing the game myself. But see that little uh, blue bar over there, like, you know, under the uh, ducks and everything? That shows you how many ducks you need to hit and such. So basically, uh, uh, so basically, after each block of duck and everything, um, if you're able to shoot, you know, that much or even just a little bit more, uh, then, uh, uh, then basically the, uh, then basically the required amount that you're supposed to shoot and everything, you'll basically win and move on to the next round. 
However, if you don't meet the uh, required amount of hits that you need to uh, take for each duck, you will basically uh, lose. And basically, you'll just have to start all over. There are no lives in this game. So basically, if you lose once, that's it. Instant game over. But this game is pretty fun. It's one of those games where it's like, you know... Uh, it's one of those games that definitely has aged well and such. Uh, admittedly, this is one of those games where, like, you know, it's gonna take some time for you to try to, like, you know, uh, make sure you shoot each duck because, yeah, you can't just, like, you know, aim and shoot rapidly. You do have to make sure you actually get the duck, which, as you can see right here, I failed to do so. Uh, we still got about seven minutes left, so, you know what, uh, let me try that one more time. Uh, if I still have some time left, then, you know what, yeah, maybe I'll show up the, uh, one duck. Just to show you that, like, yeah, the one duck is a little bit more easier than the uh, two ducks so if you're playing this game for the first time i highly recommend go for like you know one duck first and everything just to get like you know just to get a good idea on like you know how like the shooting works and such how you know uh how you can aim and everything and then uh, and then basically if you're feeling confident enough and everything i definitely say go for the two ducks because the, uh, the two ducks have, uh, definitely do offer a lot of challenge because uh, like i said you only have three bullets and such and you can only miss one if you miss once uh, you can only miss once before trying to get two ducks. If you miss twice, then basically you gotta let one of the ducks go. And hey, I got a perfect. So yeah, if you get a perfect, then uh, basically you get a little uh, bonus. Uh, you get a little bonus score, as you see right here, a thousand. I think it goes up to uh, five. I think it goes up to like five hundred every time that like you know you get. Actually, I should say five thousand. So all right. So if you get every duck, you get like you know you get a bonus one that goes up by five thousand. You know for each round and such or each wave, I guess you could say. So yeah, since I missed twice, I had to let that duck go. So far, it's pretty good. Uh, graphics are very simple as well, too. Nice and colorful and everything. You can de uh, you can easily make out on, like, you know, what's going on over here. I'm always a sucker for, like, you know, epic graphics. Especially, like, you know, graphics like these. I definitely give you, like, you know, sort of a cartoony vibe. Like, something you probably see of, like, uh, Looney Tunes and everything. So, the other do say that the graphics definitely have hold up very, very well. And again, gameplay is fun, it's simple, and... Yeah, that's basically all I gotta say. This is one of those games where it's just fun, simple, and anyone can pick up and enjoy. So it's definitely one of those games I would definitely recommend. Uh, however, sadly, uh, it's just one of those games where, like, most likely you will have to emulate it and everything. As I don't know if this game was available for the Wii. I want to say it was for a while in the Virtual Console, which would make sense because the Wii does give you an option, like, you know, uh, it does give up, like, you know, an NES Zapper 5 and everything, so you could probably easily play it on the, uh, on the Wii. However, if you want to play this game today, you uh, you would either have to get like an actual NES with an actual NES zapper, or you would just have to play it via through emulation. There's really no other way you can play this game, so most likely you will have to play this through emulation, which means most likely you probably will not get a good idea of like what the NES zapper would do, unless you have like a really old TV or you one of those kids that did actually have like you know NES zappers growing up and you still have them lying around the house somewhere. So that is the sad part, unfortunately. Alright, so far we're doing so good, so let's see if we can actually get to uh, level 5 in this one. So we got about 5 minutes, so... Damn it. Yeah, level up, bitch. Ah, I missed that one. Oh, uh, that's still good? Just barely. Alright, well, we still made it to round 5, that's good. Let's keep going. Alright, we got one. So yeah, as you can see right here, like, you know, you really gotta try to aim yourself just right at trying to get these ducks. There's no room for error, even, uh, even, uh, even if your aim is slightly off, um, then, yeah, it's very possible for the ducks to fly away, so... You gotta be very fast. I got one, so I think that's still good enough. I believe it's somewhere. Uh, I believe it's somewhere after round ten is where it's definitely gonna get harder. Whereas, uh, uh, well, I do know there is actually a point where you have to get every single duck. If you miss just one duck, then again, that's an instant game over for you. I want to say it's somewhere after one of these levels. But I do know the points also, uh, also get higher too as the rounds go on. So. So this is, def uh, this is definitely one of those games where, like, you know, technically you can't win if you want to compete against your friend for a high score. I do know this actually was uh, actually uh, released as, uh, as uh, like, a, a Nintendo versus arcade cabinet, where actually you could shoot the dog, too. So that's actually pretty cool. Ah, I think I might have heard my chance in winning. Ah, 
Yeah, I don't think we're gonna win this one. I think I just lost. Alright. Yep, I lost. Alright, well, I got, I got one, but that's not gonna matter. I just lost. Yeah, I just lost. Alrighty. Well. Alright, um. See, I got two minutes left, so you know what I did promise. Yeah, okay. How about I go over there and show you, like, you know, just what a one dog, uh, just basically what a one dog game would look like and everything. So, again, this is more of the uh, simple one and everything. I'll probably just do like, you know, two rounds, and then I'll just, you know, just go ahead and do the uh, cleavage one. There we go. So yeah, uh, so yeah you see how easy the one dog is, like, you know. Uh, so this one is definitely more easy, where you only get three chances to miss, and those three chances, the dog will go away. And you definitely have a lot more chance to get them and everything, too, because it's just one duck. So you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to get two ducks at the same time. go ahead and um, I'll go ahead and show off the uh, third version of the game which is basically the uh, clay one so, so this is the clay shooting one so basically the only different things about this is just basically I have to show uh, you, you basically have to shoot what I thought were like you know white frisbees and such so again just shoot the uh, two of them and much like with the two thugs you only allow to miss once so yeah if you miss you know either one of them twice then yeah you gotta have to let one of them go And just like last time as well too, you have to meet a certain goal. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're able to shoot, you know, the a certain goal, you move on to the next round. If you're able to shoot all of them, you also get bonus. So I only missed two, not bad. Oh, I forgot to set the time. All right, well we'll do ten minutes right now. I forgot to set the timer. All righty. There we go. Alright, let's see if I can let's see if I can go for uh, perfect. Yep, never mind. Oh, this one, that's not bad. Better than the last time. So basically what I try to do, I try to make them uh, I try to see if I can shoot them just as far as I can. That seems to be a little bit more better. Try to shoot them as far as they can get. Like that. But it is a little difficult to aim and try to shoot with like, you know, the mouse. It's not all too bad. I'm pretty sure that, like, you know, it's also a little difficult for people back then to try to shoot with, like, an actual NES zapper, so. Ready? And again, I really do love the graphics. I really do love the background on this game. It looks so nice. It looks so clean. Alright, well, I do actually. I did actually got myself a bonus, so that's good. Alright, so far, so good. Let's keep going. There we go. Let's see if I can at least make it to round 10 at the end of 10 minutes. That was also two frisbees. Alright, 
still got about six minutes, so we're doing pretty good. We're doing real good. Ooh, well, that wasn't good. So like I said, I still uh, I still believe it's after level t uh, after, uh, after level ten is that when um, is that when the uh, requirements uh, requirements for you for hitting as many uh, frisbees is going to get a little bit more difficult. So let's see if that's true. Let's see if we can make it to round ten. This is actually one of my favorite uh, modes to play uh, whenever I play Duck Hunt. I, I, uh, this is basically the mode I always played the most outside of the, uh, uh, when, uh, when I didn't want to do the, uh, duck mode. Okay, so let's see if I'm right. So here we are, round 10. See, there you go. All right, so after yeah, after round ten, yeah. So so this is how many so this is how many more I need to uh, get the frisbees. I need to make sure I don't miss at least three. If I don't miss uh, if I don't miss at least three or four or even more, then I should be okay. So yeah, I think we should be good right here. All right, I think we should still be good. There we go. We're fine. I think the bonus would also go up too if I was able to get every single frisbee. I think it goes up to at least either fifteen, uh, either fifteen thousand or twenty. Let's find out. Ooh, just in time. Uh, so got it, so that's good. Alright, so I've got about, yeah, so I've got about four minutes, so <laughs> let's just keep going, let's keep going. I think it also just moved up a little, yeah, it did. Alright, so now I gotta make sure I don't miss two or more. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Oh. Alrighty, oh, still gotta do this, so let's see here. So let's see how much we get. 1500. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. So it does go up by uh, 5,000 after, uh, I think, after like 10 rounds or so. And right, now I gotta make sure I miss no more than one. Alright, well, let's see if I still get this. Okay. Gotta really concentrate now. I think they also shoot out much more faster, too, which makes sense. Two minutes, so we're still good. Okay, I think uh, I think uh, okay, I think it's after level twenty is when like you know I gotta shoot every single one. If I miss even just one, it's game over. Which I think I might do on purpose, since like you know again we're we're, we're pretty much past the two minute mark, uh, ten minute mark, I should say. So.
twenty thousand now. Okay, uh, uh, okay, okay. So now it's at, so now it's after every five rounds and everything that like uh, the bonus points are gonna just start going up. All right, uh, uh, all right, we'll do at least one more round and then I'll go ahead and like, you know, end up the video right here. I think, uh, uh, I think you guys already get the point of like, you know, what this game is about. Like I said, it's very short, but it's still very fun. So, uh, so, uh, so yeah, while I'm finishing, uh, while I'm finishing, while I'm, uh, basically, yeah, just finished up this, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give my, uh, thoughts on the game. All right, so, uh, Duck Hunt and everything is still a very fun game. It's still... Uh, this is one of those games, again, it has a uh, hold up very well. It has aged very well, in my, you know, humble opinion and everything. Um, it's very simple and everything. Uh, uh, like, uh, like I said, uh, like I said, it's very simple, but very fun. It's one of those games where it's like, you know, it's very addictive. It's one of those games where it's just basically like, you know, you play, uh, uh you sometimes play it once and sometimes, you know, you want to keep on playing to see if you get, you know, really better and, every and everything. And so I think that's actually a good game design right there. Uh, Graphic-wise, the graphics still holds up pretty well. Like you know, it's bright, it's colorful, and everything. Uh, ducks are easy to spot. Uh, again, the, do uh, the dog is also very iconic and everything. Uh, the molds themselves are actually pretty fun too. They actually do give you you know a different variety for you to uh, choose from, which is actually very nice. So I definitely would highly recommend this game. But like I said, this is one of those games where basically like you know you are most likely gonna have to emulate it and everything because even if you do find a working NES and such. Um, this is going to be one of those games where basically, like, you know, you even got, uh, you also got to make sure that your TV works just right for a game like this. Uh, because uh, basically, like, you know, because uh, basically the NES uh, Zapper and everything was, uh, were basically made for old school TVs in the 80s and such. So, basically, if you were to get, like, an NES and a Zapper and everything, most likely your Zapper would not work very well to, like, modern TV and everything. So, most likely this is going to have to be a game where you aren't going to have to emulate, sadly, and such, but... Uh, but even still, like, you know, if you want to track down, like, you know, a Duck Hunt cartridge or even, like, an NES zapper, go for it and everything. Alright, so, my final thoughts on the game, I'm gonna give it a... Uh, Alright, so, for my final thoughts on the game, I'm gonna give it... No, I'm gonna give it, like, a 10 out of 10. This is a really perfect good game. Like, you know, no flaws whatsoever. I can't even really think, like, you know, a bad thing to say about this game and everything. It's fun, it's addictive, graphics are still good and everything. Again, this is, uh, this is a game I highly recommend for, like, you know, anyone. Uh, uh, even for people that don't normally play video games all that much, I think you will definitely find a lot of fun with this game. Alright, so that'll do it for my uh, short one-off uh, LP of uh, Duck Hunt. If you guys have enjoyed this LP, don't forget to hit the like button. Again, hopefully Paper Mario will be coming back pretty soon by the time, you know, this video gets uploaded and such. If not, like I said, I do have a, I do have a short LP in mind. Uh, yeah, I do have a short, uh, I do have a game in mind for, like, a short LP and everything on the side project and such. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this uh, game of Duck Hunt, don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys want to see more games, hit the subscribe button as well. Speaking of games, uh, don't forget if you guys got any games you want me to try out, listen in the comments on either YouTube or on my Facebook page. Uh, make sure you all, if you guys like movie and TV show reviews, check out, uh, check out my main channel where I mostly do that. Or check out mine and Bonnie's co-op channel, Review Bros, where we review movie and TV shows together. Alrighty, but until then, it's been Sakura Deal saying thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully when we're back doing Paper Mario, or maybe for the other game for the short LP, but until then, take care everybody.